once again, from my house to yours, I'm Marie Moss, your church nurse. COVID-19 is now in Huron County. There are four positive cases, and we think that the number is going to jump up when we get the testing center set up in Huron County. This week, the CDC came out with a recommendation that everyone covers their face. This can be with a bandana, a mask, a scarf, just something that covers the face, the nose, and the mouth. Check out the newsletter for a link on how to make your own mask. There's a group of ladies who have been making some masks for the hospitals and for the local nursing homes. And they're, they've now got those people supplied. And so they are offering to make some masks for those of us in our church who don't have the ability to make our own. So why should we cover our mask? There's two reasons why I think that wearing a mask is important. The first one is to prevent touching my face. The virus enters our body through the mucous membranes, through our eyes, through our nose, through our mouth. And so if I'm wearing a mask, I am more conscious that something is different and I'm not as apt to touch my face. There's been a study that says that we touch our faces as many as 23 times an hour. That's a lot. So the hope is that by wearing a mask, I'm not touching my face as much. The second reason that we should wear a mask is to prevent the droplets from coming from our mouth. We all know that we spew droplets when we cough and we sneeze, but even when we're talking, the droplets are coming out of our mouth. And so the scarf or the bandana will catch these droplets that are coming from our mouth. So it doesn't necessarily protect me from your droplets as much as I'm protecting you from, from my droplets. They're saying now that 25% of the people who are spreading this disease have no symptoms at all. And that two days before we get symptoms, we can spread the disease. So if I wear a mask, I protect you, you protect me. Now don't get me wrong, we still need to practice social distancing. Do you know how far six feet is? If I stretch my arm out all the way and you stretch out yours, our fingertips shouldn't touch. Now that's a long way. Now this masking is going to take some getting used to. Yesterday at the bread basket, all the volunteers wore masks. And the other day when I went grocery shopping, I wore a mask. Only one in the grocery store, but it's still important. But if you're just with the people in your own family or all by yourself, you don't have to wear a mask. So when I went walking on the beach at Sleeper, I didn't wear a mask. But anytime you're with people outside of your own household, you'll need to wear it. So now, if you're a farmer and you're out in the tractor or by yourself all day, you don't really have to wear a mask. But if you go to the co-op for fertilizer, put on your mask. Or if you have the morning meeting with all the people in your team, Everybody should have their face covered. And then you need to take it off and wash it each day and wear a clean one every day. In the newsletter that was mailed to you this week, there's several links to good information. One of them is a self-checker to see if you do have the COVID symptoms and what you should do about it. And then there's also a link to planning about your household. What if somebody in your family gets sick? You need to figure out now where you might be able to isolate them away from the rest of the family to prevent the spreading of the disease to everybody in the family. How are you doing emotionally? I have good days and bad days. I'd encourage you to find some positive outlets for your stress. Try journaling. Maybe give a friend a call. I've enjoying, been enjoying some great walks outside these days on it's sunny. It's important to call to take care of yourself. You know, the recommendations are always changing. It seems like our world is upside down these days. But one thing that we can be confident in is that God doesn't change. Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can count on that. Today, more than ever, it's time to trust Jesus and wash your hands.